The market leader in automotive innovation and technology is the Lucid Group. Having received $1.3 billion in fresh capital from Saudi Arabia's National Wealth Fund, Lucid Group has rebounded from a challenging 2018 stronger than ever. And in the middle of 2021, Lucid Motors merged with Churchill 4, bringing in a staggering $4.5 billion in new funding. News that Lucid Motors is completing plans to construct a production plant in Saudi Arabia by 2024 surfaced this week. Elon Musk had a blast on Twitter recently joking that he had more kids in Q2 2022 than the EVs produced by Lucid Motors. It all started when financial analyst Gary Black commented on the financial results of Lucid Motors for the second quarter of 2022. The California-based automaker delivered only 679 vehicles in this period, despite the fact it has gathered a total of over 37,000 reservations for the air. In the first half of 2022, Lucid produced only 1,405 vehicles, obviously unable to meet customer demand at this rate. Gary Black also highlighted that Lucid has revised its production targets for 2022 and is now expecting to produce 6,000 to 7,000 cars, which is significantly lower than the previous forecast of 12 to 14,000 units. He concluded his tweet by stating, as Elon Musk says, production is hard. This tag couldn't be left unanswered by the Tesla CEO who wrote, I had more kids in Q2 than they made cars. While a hyperbole, it is true that this number is embarrassingly low for any automaker. Still, Tesla and Elon Musk himself does not have the best reputation for keeping their promises, with several delays in the rollout of the much-anticipated models, including the Roadster and the Cybertruck. Lucid Motor CEO Peter Rawlinson was a Tesla employee, which might explain the tension between the two rival companies. Addressing the issues in Lucid Air's production, Rawlinson said in an official statement, Our revised production guidance reflects the extraordinary supply chain and logistics challenges we encountered. We've identified the primary bottlenecks, and we are taking appropriate measures, bringing our logistics operations in-house, adding key hires to the executive team, and restructuring our logistics and manufacturing organization. We continue to see strong demand for our vehicles with over 37,000 customer reservations, and I remain confident that we shall overcome these near-term challenges. Lucid may weather the chip shortage better than most other EV startups by signing an agreement with NVIDIA for chips. However, chip shortages are expected to persist. At the same time, supply chain disruptions ratchet up and battery material prices surge. Lucid is still feeling cost inflation that can adversely impact the bottom line and increase initial production costs, not to mention production volumes. Lucid hit the market fresh off its SPAC deal projecting 20,000 units of production in 2022 and 49,000 units in 2023, which it left unchanged through Q3. With the Q4 report at the end of February, Lucid slashed production forecasts by a large margin, a 35% cut to 2022, and a 30.6% cut to 2023. Lucid is currently forecasting 12 to 14,000 units in 2022 and 34,000 in 2023. Quite the drop if chip shortages aren't the main factor. Lucid also had to postpone the launch of its Gravity SUV a high premium for low volumes. Let's take a look at Lucid's delivery roadmap. With Q4 results on February 28th, and Lucid announced it had produced just 400 vehicles to date, delivering only 300 cumulatively. 125 deliveries were in 2021, meaning 175 vehicles were delivered in the first two months of 2022, or about three vehicles per day. Meanwhile, EV leader Tesla, delivered north of 3,500 vehicles daily. Tesla trades for a 30X premium to Lucid for 1,000X the scale. Putting that in perspective, Lucid isn't even delivering 1% of Tesla's vehicles, but trades at a similar premium. Tesla trades at around 14X revenues, while Lucid trades at 13.5X reserved revenues based on its 25,000 reservations worth just over $2.4 billion. As a reminder, the reservations do not entail that the total amount will be recognized and may not be. 
Given the production output, it's also unlikely that the pre-order backlog will be cleared before 2H 2023. As such, the premium Lucid trades at enhances the risk profile of shares as more negative news regarding production likely won't be taken well. In addition, the pre-order backlog may also limit international deliveries later in the year. Filling the pre-orders should be a top priority to ensure customer satisfaction and revenue recognition, meaning that a significant proportion of 2022's production should go to those orders, leaving little volume for international markets. Attacking more established international markets in Europe at a low volume is a competitive risk, especially as leading OEMs ramp up efforts to compete in major regions such as Germany, where Lucid Motors plans to start. Expanding also to Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Italy, Monaco, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and Norway leaves a vast geographic region to penetrate, again with low volume to do so. Establishing sales and service centers to handle such small volumes looks like a cost headwind. A 50k plus order to Saudi Arabia. A bright spot exists for Lucid with its announcement of a 50,000 to 100,000 unit order from Saudi Arabia over the next decade. At those volumes, this order represents a massive cumulative revenue opportunity for Lucid and a solid market share in an emerging region. Still, it begs some questions. When does Lucid start to fulfill these deliveries? 2023 or 2024? And what percent of Lucid's production volume will be dedicated to fulfilling the order? Saudi Arabia backs Lucid with funding and factory plans, but devoting substantial, greater than 40% volumes to this single order may prohibit or limit massive scaling of volumes in other regions. It seems highly unlikely that Lucid Motors will crest above $1.8 billion in revenues for the year, leaving it with an expansive 17.5x sales multiple. With production impacts and multiple headwinds facing the EV industry, Lucid looks to be facing a daunting stretch where it can't afford to miss a step. However, international expansion plans at such a small scale look to exacerbate the risk of overstepping limits and increasing the downside risk to shares as EV multiples have compressed with broader market weakness. Elon Musk implies that Lucid Motors, an electric vehicle startup that spun out of Tesla, might be about to die. Yesterday, Business Insider leaked an email from Lucid Motors that revealed an extremely aggressive strategy to avoid cancellations for its air electric sedan. Lucid saw its reservations for its electric car drop from 37,000 in Q3 to 34,000 in Q4, which it attributed to a mix of deliveries on some of those reservations and customer cancellations. In the email, Lucid says that every cancellation is a failure. It outlines a very aggressive strategy to avoid those failures involving calling the customers almost a dozen times. Many took this aggressive approach as a bad sign for the company, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk. In response to this story early this morning, Musk tweeted they are not long for this world, which is an idiom that means that they will not have long to live. This comment adds to his previous comment on Lucid and Rivian earlier this year when Twitter's new owner claimed that the two electric car startups are tracking towards bankruptcy. Lucid has strong links to Tesla, and you could even argue that it was the first EV startup that spun out of the company. It was founded by a former Tesla executive and board member, and it is now led by Peter Rawlinson, the chief engineer of the Model S before its launch. After a decade in development, Lucid finally started production of the Lucid Air, an electric sedan competing with the Tesla Model S last year. It was on track to produce between six and 7,000 Air electric sedans in 2022. From a financial standpoint, the situation could be better for Lucid, but it is also not dire. Last quarter, it lost half a billion dollars, but it still had about $3 billion in cash and short-term investments. Electrics take. Technically, Lucid could survive another year without new outside investments or turning things around. Musk is not wrong to express concern here. There's room for concerns, but I think it's not over for Lucid. It has big backers like Saudi Arabia that could likely put more money in to help the company and it could also surprise everyone over the next year and turn things around financially. 
Speaking as a Tesla Model Y owner and Tesla investor, the Lucid Air is a brilliantly designed car with a driver-centric dashboard and range that suits those who don't always feel like stopping to charge. It will only be suitable for innovation and competition if the EV market has differentiators. Look how lacking innovation the internal combustion engine industry has been for over 100 years. No serious efforts to improve fuel economy due to the influence of big oil, just more comfort features. We hope someone invests because the otherwise excellent Model S needs competition to keep Tesla on its feet and not get complacent. It produced just over 2,000 cars last quarter for $195 million in revenue, but it cost the company almost half a billion dollars to make those 2,000 cars. This negative gross margin is unsustainable, and Lucid needs to drive costs down massively to survive as it ramps up production. So, as we mentioned in a recent tweet, the eccentric boss of Tesla has once again forecasted the demise of EV competitor Lucid Motors. Elon Musk's comment comes after new reports indicated that the electric car manufacturer, which also has its roots in the US state of California, is struggling with an increasing number of cancellations that have prompted the company to take drastic measures. According to Business Insider, Lucid offers hesitant customers discounts of up to 10% on the six-figure list price of most Lucid Air model variants. Its representatives can make up to 14 phone calls to close the sale. It is not the first time Elon Musk has questioned the rival's financial viability. The Tesla CEO has previously pointed out that the company's expenses were too high and that it has to find ways and means to cut the production costs of Lucid Air. Although the Tesla competitor reported a revenue of 200 million US dollars for the third quarter of 2022, the business still needs to turn profitable. But despite Musk's gloomy prediction, Lucid Motors appears to have enough cash reserves to stay in business for at least another year thanks to a prominent investor from Saudi Arabia. So, this was all from today's video. Make sure you have hit the bell icon for upcoming videos, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.